In this video, I'm going to go over the parallel task, which is an extremely useful behavior tree task in that it allows you to run multiple tasks at the same time. For this video, I'm using the parallel scene, which is included in the behavior designer tutorials folder, and you can get a link to that in the description of this video. So just to get an idea of what this scene is currently doing, we'll go ahead and hit play, and we can see it's just this agent moving from one point to another. Let's go ahead and make it a little bit more interesting and we'll add the parallel task. And if we just do the parallel task with one child, we'll notice that there's absolutely no difference at all. It just basically runs and then runs the child task. So you have one task running in parallel. Now let's go ahead and add a few more tasks and we have it a little bit prepared already. So you can see that we have this sequence task, a wait task, and a log task. This example is kind of contrived, but it will allow to or give a good example of how the parallel task works. So let's get in, go ahead and hit play. And we can see that right now, actually I was a little too slow, so we'll hit play. And all right, I caught it in time. We can see that two different tasks are active right now, the seek task and the wait task. And these are both running at the same time. And so you can do a lot of cool things with this. For example, in the Deathmatch AI kit, we have uh, three different tasks that are running at the same time. The first task is a seek or a task similar to seek where the agent gets into position. So it's a movement related task. There's another task that runs which actually does the firing or like shoots the character or shoots the enemy. And then another task will run which determines which weapon should be used and which weapon should be equipped. So in that case, there are three different tasks that are running at the same time, and it just makes it extremely useful in terms of being able to kind of just get more done uh, in parallel. And we can see now that as soon as I hit play, this log task will run, and then the log task returns success, and so then the parallel task will just keep playing because this seek task isn't, or hasn't returned success yet. Now let's see what happens if we were to change this to a return failure. And now if we hit play, we'll be able to see that after a second, this parallel task actually ends because one of the child tasks returned failure. And so this parallel task sort of similar operates similarly to the uh, sequence task in that all the children tasks have to return success, otherwise it will return as well. And if we do a search for parallel, we can see that there's a few different variants of the parallel task. And if, for example, we didn't want it to end when the parallel task was complete, or when one of the children returned failure, we can use this parallel selector task, which will basically just keep playing even if one of the children tasks returns failure. The final variant is this parallel complete task and it will also run all tasks in parallel except when a child task returns success or failure it will then return that same status so this will this right now will look very similar to the initial parallel task but let's go ahead and change this and we'll just have it return success so now parallel complete will return success as soon as this child task returns success so that's actually an overview of three different composite tasks, the parallel task, the parallel complete, and the parallel selector.